Happy scene on the field at Wallace Wade. A happier scene inside the locker room. Mike Elko addressing his team. Listen, we continue to talk about the power of togetherness, right? And when you're willing to do things for the person to your left and the person to your right, and you're willing to work and you're willing to sacrifice, there's a lot of great things that you can achieve, right? And this is another testament to that. Okay, they'll never get it. I keep telling you guys this. They will never understand that a group of kids can just come together and work and earn success. And that is everything you guys have done for the last 18 months. You just continue to go. You just continue to go, right? And it wasn't pretty at times, right? At times we, we looked like we were giving it away, right? At times we looked like we were on our heels, but we just kept fighting. We just kept battling. We just kept making plays. Right at the end of the game, what did it come down to? Duke football. Right? We win the turnover battle in the second half. We don't give them touchdowns in the red zone. Right? We run the football. We convert in the red zone. Right? We do the things that we're supposed to do, and you control everything. You control the outcome of everything. Right? We said this at the end of last year, and I'm going to say it again. Right? I didn't come here for one good year. I didn't come here this year for one good game. You guys didn't come back for one good game. This is the start of a season. That's what this is. And it's a statement for who you are and what you're all about. And that's it. Right? And that's it. And we wake up tomorrow and we go to work to go become 2-0. and And that's where we're at in the season. So congratulations to you guys. You laid it all on the line. You believed in each other. You believed in yourself. You did everything that we asked you to do to get yourselves ready for this game. This is the result, man. Look at awesome. <laughs> and Mike Elko, kind enough to join us now here on Sports Center. And Mike, thanks so much. It's Scott Van Pelt. Uh, I appreciate you coming out of the locker room. We just heard you address your team. And when you talk on the field in the middle of that mayhem, right, it's just chaos. But then when you have a moment to take a breath, and it's just you and those young men, and you get those chances to, to, to reiterate all those lessons and messages that we just heard you impart to them. Isn't that the best part of what you do? Yeah, I mean, I think that's why we all got into coaching was to take a group of kids and, and get them to believe in themselves and believe in what they're capable of and, and go out and elevate who they are and, and how the world sees them. And so, um, you know, they were able to do that tonight and they were able to perform at a really high level. And so really, really happy for those guys. You gave all the credit to the guys, and we heard you talk about it. a lot of guys came back, and, and I think there was more there than people might have known outside of Durham, right, Mike? I mean, you, got, you guys got depth, and you got dudes, and my guy Stanford Steve and I watching you tonight, I mean, look, Clemson's Clemson. They got a, they got a lot, but there was not a massive difference between the speed and you were cycling in one after another on the defensive line. How, how much more did, do you have to work with than perhaps people – before tonight would have ever known. Yeah, I mean, I think that was obviously our, our secret to success this offseason. When you talk about the transfer portal, you know, one of the biggest things is making sure you don't lose your own guys. Exactly. You know, and we had a lot of guys that came back as six-year seniors and fifth-year seniors and, you know, obviously guys that could have went elsewhere or to maybe more marquee-type programs, as you would say. Um, and they all came back, and, and they came back with a mission um, to kind of continue to build on what we started last year. And so, uh, again, to see that pay off is, is obviously something that's really awesome for them. We just saw, we're seeing the, all the different scores here. The, 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 the Riley Leonard score was, was massive because you guys played phenomenal in the first half. And if you don't fumble a punt, Clemson's not on the board. You're getting the ball first to start the second half. Is there, is there a message to the group about the kind of tone you can set if you're able to do what you did, which is score to take the lead back? Yeah, you know, we knew we had to just get back to playing our game. You know, we had a chance to take the lead right before half, and we had a really costly fumble, and we just tried to settle the guys down in the locker room, and we knew we were getting the ball first, and, you know, we knew it was going to be critical at some point to put a drive together and try to get the lead uh, and try to put some pressure on them, and, and, you know, we were able to do that, you know, and then obviously our defense was able to come up with some really big red zone stops and get some critical turnovers down there, and, you know, I think ultimately that put them in a spot where they had to chase the game a little bit, and that's where we had to get it for us to win it. We, I saw on the broadcast that Riley Leonard wears a, a wristband that says, uh, what does it say? I, I suck. <laughs> no, to, please tell him he doesn't. I mean, that guy, he is he, the type of talent <laughs> and the type of gamer he is. And, and he showed it last year. And I, the, the kind of steps forward he's taking, how important is he as a tone setter for your team on that side of the football? 
Yeah, I mean, he's he's the playmaker that we have that can make things out of nothing, you know, and I think that's a little bit of what that touchdown was. I don't know that it was necessarily the right play for the defense they were in, and we certainly didn't block it real well, but uh, at <laughs> the end of the him. day, 44 <laughs> yards later, he was in the end zone, right? Yeah. And he makes makes a kid miss, and he outruns a Clemson corner to the end zone, and, um, you know, that's just him. You know, he's, he's had the ability to elevate his play at the right moments against the right teams um, since I got here. You know, he did it a lot last year and he was yep. able to do it again tonight. Mike, last one uh, in terms of what this night can do, right? I, I mentioned your schedule. There's a lot in it, and I know you focus on Lafayette, so you don't have to say that. But in terms of the trajectory <laughs> of your season, what does a night like this allow you to tell those guys in that room in terms of belief of where this could go? Yeah, I mean, I think the guys in the room know who we are and know what we're all about. I think what this is, to some degree, is is validation to the country and to the people outside our program of what we're about and what we're capable of. And and we've been saying it since we got here that we believe Duke is a special place. We believe this is a place where we can really compete at high levels on the football field. And, you know, to me, it's validation that that's a reality. And, and you saw the crowd. You saw the field storm. Um, yep. You know, that was a Cameron-type atmosphere today in our football stadium. And, and that's what we've tried to get accomplished since the day I arrived on campus and you know to watch that continue to grow and continue to build this year will be really cool you know Mike uh, I, I mentioned my guy Stanford Steve again the other night when we were talking about this game he said about you guys he said that Duke knows who they are and now the whole country does too I have no idea how long or short your drive home is but I imagine you'll be smiling the whole way man thanks for taking a minute to visit with us and uh, good luck the rest of the year yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on, and, and thanks for everything you guys do, and what a night. Go Duke. There you go. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.